is in a elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Guys, this sold out arena is buzzing right now in anticipation of this triple threat match. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet the concession stands are on empty right now. Nobody wants to miss even a second of this match. And his opponents, first, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, C.M. Pong. Byron, what's the game plan for these superstars heading into this triple threat match? Michael, a lot of times you'll see a competitor lurking in the weeds, just waiting for the right time to strike. But knowing these three superstars the way I do, I doubt we'll see any of them standing by idly here tonight. intoxicating mesmerizing guys here is a man who is going to be a true superstar in our business he has it all in ring skill he's got charisma and he's got great hair I fully expect Velveteen to be bald next time I see him after hearing you say that Saxton Good point, Corey. Velveteen wants nothing to do with the likes of you. I'm just saying. D-R-E-A-M. Velveteen Dream just soaking in every ounce of the moment. Everything about this guy is money. What a superstar. What an entrance. It's it's mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. What is he doing? Anything he wants. He's the dream. You just don't And so it begins. Despite triple threats being every man for himself, history has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. 
A participant must be ready to endure double team attacks at any time. to the floor. Set it up. Neck breaker. That could be it. <laughs> Inverted power slam. That's going to hurt. Leap from drop down. Oh, impactful slam. Hooked up. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur commentator. Ooh, what impact. I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. Just ruthless. Oh. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance, and I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Drop down. My leapfrog. Nice. Elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's TakeOver Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream Over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent, Cassius Ono. Hooked up. That could dislocate your shoulder. Drop kick. <laughs> it's the mark. He wants no part of the outside. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Incoming. He's making a statement here with this attack. Frog. 
It's always important to get off to a strong start in a match. It's even more important to do that in a triple threat match, given that you're going up against two opponents at the same time. Add to that the no disqualification stipulation, and there's little to no room for it. Look at that. Ziggler with the famous serve. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That slam just brought this entire arena to its feet. Byron, you spoke about this before. A competitor must do everything they can do to start things off on the right foot in a triple threat match. One way to do that is to target one of your opponents and go after them as soon as the bell rings. You're battling two opponents at the same time, so it's hunt or be hunted. And that's what I like, Michael. It's survival of the fittest in that ring. In a triple threat, a superstar can't waste time feeling opponents out, getting warmed up, or easing their way into the match. You have to go at it as soon as the match begins. Look at this. Uh -oh. The, uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, Byron, at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Team Dream's TakeOver Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said Dream Over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent, Cassius Ono. sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Double Team Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry. You just sound like an amateur commentator. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are here at ringside. I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. Hooked up. Delivering the shin breaker. Oof, kick 
finds it. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create interesting alliances, and the numbers game can become your worst enemy in a hurry when you're competing against two other opponents. No matter how you look at it, it's a situation you don't want to be in, but you must prepare for it. Oh, what impact! A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack in a triple threat match. A great example of that is the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ. We know what's coming here. Oh, incredible height. You can feel this one slipping away from Ziggler. Can Dolph Ziggler stay in after that? Don't count the show. Shoulders on the mat. One, two. This guy just refuses to quit. Wow, I am in full oh, impact. You can feel this one slipping away from... Oh, nasty impact. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic Triple Threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus The Boss 